Hey ladies and gents, welcome to Extra Sight. I'm Chrissy. thanks for joining me. If this is the first time you've visited, welcome. And if you would like to view more of my videos, please consider subscribing and perhaps give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. I occasionally share ideas and painting techniques and live stream from time to time. And don't forget to click the bell icon, that way you don't miss out on any of the videos as I upload them. In this painting demonstration, I show you how I paint with brushes, uh, pan pastel on pastel mat. Uh, for those who know me and have uh, viewed my work before and seen me many times talk about using this technique, which is now how I work with the pans. Just for transparency, I'm not getting paid in any shape, way or form and uh, this is only me sharing what I discover. The art supplies I use are pan pastels, pastel mat, a paper that I love so much because it forgives me every time I make a mistake. Amongst other things, um, it's archival, acid free, and heavy. It's a 360 GSM or 170 uh, pounds and can withstand a beating. Uh, it comes in sheets, pads and various colours and sizes and it even comes in boards for those who didn't know. The paper I'm using here is anthracite. The uh, brushes I'm using here are makeup brushes and synthetic brushes. The makeup brushes are called um, Eco Tools, and the other synthetic brushes that I'm using are from uh, Dale Rowney. Um, just some old, uh, not old, but they're just um, not very expensive brushes, which I'll talk a little bit later on down the track. So I had a thought, and I was thinking to use pan pastels and only pan pastels um, with uh, the techniques that I've developed just from sheer practice, trial and error. And I can tell you with hand on my heart, I only use the pans exclusively and the brushes. And well, and then I also thought, for example, what if, uh, what if you didn't have um, a set of pastel pencils? How would you paint in the details? So this was my whole motivation in doing or showing you this little project. Uh, these brushes give me the best results uh, for the way I like to paint. Uh, they don't shed, uh, they pick up the pigment uh, from the pan beautifully and I apply and I apply them uh, I apply it gently on the surface and I, I'm very careful not to harm the tooth of the paper as I'm doing this. Uh, I also uh, mix colors on a bit of uh, paper to ensure I have the right shade of the color that I need. Uh, which is also a very unique uh, characteristic of this medium. I don't think you can do this with um, regular uh, soft pastels, but you know, can be wrong. I've tried many things, so... <laughs> so I purchased these brushes from my local supermarket in the cosmetics section, of all places. Uh, and, but I also know that you can purchase, and they're also available on um, Amazon, uh, US Amazon, um, which is handy, and they're not expensive. Um, I couldn't tell you the price off the top of my head, but um, they're not expensive. Okay, so back to the painting. Uh, you will see me pick up the pigment and ply and apply it on the surface. This method is slower than the soft tools by pan pastel and just a little faster than colored pencils when we're talking time wise that is uh, I paint quite tightly so this method is okay for me hopefully this camera angle isn't too close but I just thought to do some close-up or just some close-up footage so you can get a, a good look at the pastel and the way it layers on this paper. Uh, pastel mat is uh, terrific for this technique. I've tried this on ingress paper. Uh, ingress paper is the non-sanded surface uh, paper made for pastels. 
So with the Ingress paper, I didn't quite get the same result as I as I do for uh, for pastel mat, uh, but I'm going to give it another go, um, and um, and I might have to change my technique slightly. But um, or what I might, or perhaps what I might do is maybe. Um, is maybe do another video showing you this application on different kinds of paper because let's face it you know pastel mats expensive I mean it's expensive here in Australia which is where I'm from um, and and I think it's expensive in all parts of the world but I achieved these wonderful results so I don't uh, think about that too much I mean you could buy you could buy one sheet and, and cut it down in, in pieces. Um, that could be a, a good way to do this. But anyway, so I thought I would um, do a video on different sorts of paper uh, and see how and see how we do um, how we can get these kind of results that I'm getting on pastel map. So here uh, you see me use um, another brush. Uh, this is the watercolor. Uh, brush by Dale Rowney. It's an eighth of an inch, uh, but if if you can't get this brush, uh, you can use other brushes uh, that you may have lying around. Uh, doesn't have to be an expensive one. The bristles on this brush are firm and slightly soft, so what you may need to do is just play with various brushes until you get the right one for how you like to work. Uh, one thing I noticed here about the uh, pan pastels, oh sorry, changing a little bit here. Uh, one thing I noticed about the pan pastels is the vibrancy um, of the colours of the pigment and, and that's because they're highly pigmented. The, um, their binder is different to soft pastels. The soft pastels are bound with gum arabic and are water soluble, but these pans aren't. So what I do, what I'll show you down the track, um, you'll see where I, I scrape off a little pigment and mix a little solvent and I use zest it. You could also use OMS and I make, um, I make a little uh, paste, like a loose paste and I apply uh, this mixture uh, with a fine brush on my surface uh, for details. Uh, with this method though, you, the only thing that you're going to have to watch out for is that the solvent bleeds. Uh, but that's okay, uh, all you have to do is wait for this to dry completely, I mean completely, and then you can layer on top uh, with, you know, further pastel. And this way is one way to, um, you know, to, to do to, to do details uh, but if you don't want to use that method um, you can just get a very very fine small brush and just paint in uh, paint in the details uh, dryly now I do or I use both of these techniques here um, but I suggest that you practice uh, uh, this for yourself first on a scrap bit of paper uh, to see how it works for you because I mean every artist works differently So again, like I said earlier, uh, you will see the pans get powdery, um, of course, uh, because these pans aren't made uh, uh, for how I'm picking up the pastel. So for the background, uh, I'll also be using another makeup brush again uh, by the same brand. Uh, but I'm sure you can you can use any other brushes. Um, the bigger brush here is terrific for covering larger areas. Uh, great for those who like uh, painting bouquet backgrounds, and uh, they blend easily on the surface. Just lovely to work with. So what I'll do, um, I'll let you view the, uh, the rest of this demonstration and would love for you to comment and tell me your impression of this type of technique. Uh, you may have another tip or trick uh, that you may want to share. Uh, I, 
um, I I would love to uh, read what you have to say and um, and like I said earlier like I mentioned earlier sorry um, I will do another video similar to this but on a different paper surface uh, that way you you don't have to use uh, pastel mat um, and you can see how this technique works on other surfaces all I can say is so much art so little time